looking for down there. It appears to be on. Yep, mic's working. Hopefully we're on normal video. Morning YouTubers. We're at the uh, Tony's Railway here. Railway in. Early in the morning, just 10 o'clock. Uh, just going for a, a tootle, just off the TT course here. Over the roads down south. So we're just going up uh, Lurgy Crippity here, which I call Pappity Crippity. Going up here. Uh, this is actually my second ride out because uh, well, I went out yesterday to do the video, did a, this whole ride, and uh, being like I am uh, registered blind, I am um, no disrespect to blind people by the way, <laughs> I, uh, I did it all in time warp. And that was a real bad jump to the left. Uh, so I didn't realise I did the whole video um, in time warps about it was probably one or two times speed. So it didn't record anything apart from visual at speed. Uh, so to say I was a bit disappointed. Well, that's just because of my mince pies and not setting the camera right and not being used to the camera. Still not used to it. It's uh, the touch screen is uh, it's not it's not brilliant, and I don't know if it's because I've put a perceptive cover on it, you know, uh, like you do on your mobile phone, anti scratch, um, which was made for the GoPro 10 black. But yeah, I just find it hard to do the uh, actually operate the touch screen now. So, so send the. Yeah, but swishing it to the to the right or up and down, and it's not quite working as you like, or the uh, yeah, it doesn't work at all. It's weird. So I don't know how to take it off the main main screen, but then I'm going to end up with scratches. So today, so we're so exactly this is Sunday, Sunday twenty sixth, I think today. For the second ride out on the CB 650R, um, and to be honest, I mean I, I love the ride yesterday. It's freezing. Um, I've got me heated grips on full here, and uh, I'll just have to be wary because I'm not sure about the outside. So I can't see it on here, but I think it's about five degrees at the most. But it does feel like freezing. Uh, uh, just seen a bit of black ice then actually. Excuse me for sni uh, sniffing. But yeah, so the, there is that eventuality of chance of a little bit of black ice here and there. So I've just got to the top of Lurgy Crippity, this sort of cool road. And these are the roads what you need to go on in the Alabama, to be honest. Missed it up a little bit here. Stop that. Just uh, going to get a, a lot of wind noise there for a second or two. So, um, just get to make sure we're getting some clear bit. Nothing in front of us, nothing behind us. Uh, we've got 113 mile on the clock at the moment. So, um, yeah, a few hundred miles before I run it in, before it's for service. I'm not sure exactly when it is, actually, if it's 500 mile or 15, I don't, I don't even check. But uh, yeah, probably will be doing it myself. Getting uh, tailgated by some yellow van at the moment, and I'm doing 54. Just 
just uh, the speed of it so far in my honor. That drops it down into fifth Kermug. We're going straight over here in the crossroads, which is a mini roundabout. Luckily, the van's not tailing us, so I can just chill. So, yeah, it's a well, we've got this, um, and yeah, welcome people by the way. It's uh, February, and yeah, um, it isn't biking weather, but it's, but it's nice. We've got this band of weather at the moment, where it's at the moment it says it's going to be in for a week, so yeah, a bit sunny, cloudy well, for February. Bloody freezing, yeah, but yeah, it's nice. I've got my enduro pants on today as well. For I used to wear on me uh, wear for the winter in on me enduro bike for going off road everywhere on the green lanes. Um, and yeah, my, my pants, <laughs> my legs are actually nice and warm, no cold at all. I'd recommend these. Don't know what made they are, but they're just absolutely great. They're only about 50, 60 quid, aren't they? Um, so I'm just being wary now, just people at junctions. And, uh, you probably, I'm not sure if you're getting this or you're getting loads of wind noise. I don't know, hopefully you're getting me waffling. As we uh, have a nice chundle around the roads. Just labouring it a little bit there. Fifth gear. So no need to uh, up the fifth, it's the sixth gear. So it's, uh, Wear around that corner there, just meeting a horse. You never know, a uh, broken down car, even. So, yeah, so it's uh, another lovely day. It actually feels colder today, it feels a little, maybe two degrees colder or something. I don't know. We'll check your mobiles. I think it does actually feel colder than it was yesterday. But similar weather, though. I'd love to uh, see what's on the road because there was black ice yesterday. Um, to just be wary. So I'm not for thrashing the bike everywhere anyway, and certainly not this as we go past Arch Allegan. Um, coming down to here now, so just top the speed. Always abide by the speed limits. So when you're on the Isle of Man, so you can go as fast as you want in places. So, weather's a limit, stick to it. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, actually, um, my visor's cleared up now, so, which is good. This will probably be a, a few videos, so I'm not sure if the video will, will carry on or stop and start, I really don't know. We'll see how it goes. And this is Airy Dam, no reservoir. See it for your home door? I made that guy look then. It's got to be an e-bike, the speed he's going. 